Hello everyone, I'm the Inkling Gamer, and welcome to another episode of Splatoon Top 5 Plays of the Week. So first thing I want to say is sorry I was unable to get an episode out last week, um, <clears throat> but I'm going to make it up to you guys by releasing another episode tomorrow. Now hopefully I'll be able to because for this for this episode's Top 5, I, I, it did kind of take me a long time to find some good clips, but I mean I'm sure I'll find some for the next episode, which again will be up tomorrow, and then from there I'll release every Top 5 play, Plays of the Week episode every Sunday. So, um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. So without further ado, let's get into the clips. So starting off at number 5, we have Radio Rabbit playing some tower control on the returning Piranha Pit with the Ink Brush Nouveau. I'm gonna activate the ball and try to chase down this other Ink Brush. Oh, he's gonna fall off the legend. Oh! Wow. Still managed to kill him. <laughs> wow. Alright, that was pretty funny. Anyways, at number four, we have Nebby playing some Clam Blitz on Muscle Force Fitness with the Tent Umbrella. Gonna launch the shield, which is gonna allow him to throw his clams and then launch the bubbles. And oh, what a triple that was. All right, at the number three spot, we have Yashi playing some Splat Zones on Gobi Arena with the Splat Roller gonna ran, run away from the baller and then get the Splat on the 96. And then the Luna Blaster Neo the Luna Blaster, and then the Splattershot Pro. Very, very nice quad. Anyways, at the number two spot, we have the Jack-59 playing some Turf War on the Piranha Pit with the Aerospray RG. He's gonna explode his baller, get two there, another on the Charger, and the fourth on the Dapple Duelies. The quads are real, man. And finally, at number one, we have Jarenji Splatoon playing some Splat Zones on Humpback Pump Track with the Blaster, already going to get two, and then three on that Brella. Triple right off the bat. Oh, he's gonna go for the tag one, which is the Dooley Squelchers. There's gonna be a, fic a victim for <clears throat> his fourth splat. He's gonna go to the other side. Let's see what he's gonna do. He's gonna get a splat on the Rapid Blaster, splash down the T-Tech, and the seventh kill going to that Brella. And that just proves how strong these Blaster players have gotten. And, well, I guess a play like that can be expected from a Blaster that, that strong. But I mean, despite that, that was a very impressive play. Well guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Splatoon Top 5 Plays of the Week. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys are looking, for the looking forward to the episode tomorrow, if I can get one out. If I can find plays easily. But um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to smack that like button. And if you're going, and if you're going to subscribe, be sure to hit the bell icon so you never miss a new video. And if you want to support me even more and stay up to date with me, be sure to check out my Twitter and Discord and even my Twitch. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.